Hi everyone, welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. Uh, I'm Luigi Fontana, the scientific director of Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic of the University of Sydney. Today uh, we are discussing some worrisome results <laughs> linking the use of Ozempic, one of these uh, GLP-1 receptor agonists that have become basically so fashionable for weight loss and the risk of suicide. Yes, the risk of suicide. So these data have just been published in uh, uh, JAMA Network Open. Uh, and as I said, you know, they are looking, the investigators, uh, uh, they are looking at the uh, relationship between the consumption, the, the use of these uh, ob anti-obesity drugs that are so common uh, today and the risk of um, psychiatric disorders, in particular suicide. The study was conducted by uh, many uh, investigators. The last author is uh, Chiara Gastaldon, and the, they analyzed data from the huge World Health Organization's global database, again, uh, that tracks suspected adverse drug reactions worldwide. They looked in particular at reports involving the use of semaglutide and another GLP-1 receptor agonist, uh, liraglutide, comparing them with other drugs like uh, uh, dapogliflozine uh, and metformin. Here are the key findings for you, summarized for you. Well, there was a significant increase in reports of suicidal thoughts linked to the use of Ozempic, of semiglutide. For example, when compared to uh, dapogliflozine, the odds of reported suicidal ideations or thoughts were more than five times higher. Of course, as I already told you in the past, this is an epidemiological, epidemiological study, so it doesn't improve a cause-effect relationship, so it's just an association. Uh, therefore, again, you know, this study doesn't prove that semaglutide causes an increased risk of suicide. However, it raises, as the authors stated in the paper, and I agree with them, it raises important questions that need further research. If you or someone you know is on this medication and is experiencing changes in mental health, please consult a healthcare professional as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, just subscribe for more updates to my channel, Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, uh, the channel of uh, health, uh, well-being and longevity, of the science and philosophy of uh, health, uh, well-being and longevity. I'm Luigi Fontana, Professor of Medicine and Scientific Director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic of the University of Sydney and of the CPC RPA Health for Life program and a clinical academic in the Department of Endocrinology of the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney.